The second annual Missing and Murdered Indigenous Relatives powwow is still going on tonight at Riverside Park. KCAU 9 News reporter Jason Toktagian was at that powwow earlier today and tells us what's different this year compared to last. Sophie, more than 12 tribes have gathered in Sioux City for the second annual Missing and Murdered Indigenous Relatives powwow. It's a relatively new event, but folks I spoke with today say that this is necessary and crucial in order to uplift the voices that may not be heard. We're just trying to bring awareness to, to the crisis that plagues the Siouxland area, but, you know, fellow Indian country throughout the United States and, and Canada. From July 14th to the 16th, Sioux City's Riverside Park will host the second missing and murdered Indigenous Relatives powwow. The more important part to this is, is getting, getting the exposure and getting this, uh, this crisis out to the general public. Um, unfortunately, this is something that kind of gets it's pushed to the wayside uh, more and more. The powwow will feature an array of Native American dances, but the main purpose is to bring awareness to the issue, something the next generation is also pushing to bring attention to. It's important to me because I have family and everything that's been kind of not necessarily involved with it, but more of like their family side of it and everything's been more involved with it and everything. So that's kind of why I feel like I should be here helping. Taylor says he expects this year's powwow to be more significant than the inaugural year. This year's event is, is going to highlight a lot more of, of our cases in the Siouxland area, whereas opposed to last year, you know, we didn't we didn't make that that connection or that outreach in time. Whereas this year, you know, there you're going to see you're going to see those those uh, those specials and, and commemorations of, of the lost ones. And I feel like we need to bring more awareness to it because there's so many silent voices out there that don't want to say nothing because they're either too scared to or they're being told not to say anything. And I feel like this is like a big awareness thing to kind of have people speak up a little bit more and just show, the, show that they're not scared no more. Event organizers tell me that they expect more than a couple thousand people from more than 10 different states to all be here in Sioux City this weekend. So for now, reporting in Sioux City, Jason Taktajian, KCAU 9 News.